Hey, what's up? DJ Pat here. Um, I already talked about it in a previous video that I made this evening, and it just kind of dawned on me, like, well, there's some more information I can kind of give out there. Um, when it comes to uh, <laughs> my throat, um, the moneymaker, um, a lot of us working DJs, you know, we use our voice, you know, we're, we're not just behind our DJ equipment, you know, you know, mixing music, you know, we, we're we on the microphone where I'm seeing it, especially, you know, when it comes to doing weddings, and no one wants to DJ sick, you know, if you're running a fever, you're not feeling well, you know, ugh, who wants to do that? So the object is to get quick or get well quick. So uh, I'm going to pass on a few tips to you now. I just started feeling kind of crappy today, you know, if, if, if on a scale from 1 to 100, if, if 100 was was totally fine and 1 just totally sucked, I'm probably at about 90% right now. So I'm kind of leaning towards the downhill spiral of becoming full-blown ill. So what I do is the nanosecond I start realizing I'm getting sick, I start feeling a little thing in my back of my throat, I'm getting a little sinus pressure, I start getting some drugs in me. <laughs> well, like not what you think, but um, one of the things I always do is this stuff, airborne. It comes in a little cylinder. We've all probably have seen this one time or another. This is actually invented by a teacher who always got sick being around all those little kids. So um, this is really good stuff. It's like Alka-Seltzer. It's in little tablets. What I like to do is I'll kind of drink, I'll take a bottle of water, drink a little bit of it, throw a tablet in there, shake it up, let it dissolve, and then I got a bottle of water, and it's orange-flavored water, and it's actually really good. Um, if you're hard up, which I've, I've been hard up a lot of times, <laughs> uh, you can actually take the tablets and eat them straight uh you you foam like a rabid dog uh it's kind of fun to eat but you know it's you don't have to but i've i've been hard up before and so i've done it so that's that's the airborne stuff so i'd start taking this right away um another thing is when you're sick it's all about you know what you're putting into your body it really is so you know you can't abuse your body like you normally can <laughs> you know when you're when you're going and doing fast food and if you're drinking alcohol I don't drink but you know when you're doing the things that you're normally used to you gotta kinda cut that crap out especially if you're a smoker which I don't smoke either you know you gotta kinda put a, a, a hold to that type of, 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 of stuff until you're better and you know and then on you know you don't want to just start well i'm starting to feel better today now i'm gonna smoke a cigarette no you know it doesn't work like that but you could still relapse so i'm going to teach you some of the things that i do to stay as healthy as i can or at least you know when i'm sick what i do to get better and get better fast you know if this is normal sickness normal cold whatever like that i might be down two weeks but because i'm doing the things i do i cut it in half to less um, one of the things I do is I, I, I juice. I have a juicer and I make fresh juice myself. Now a lot of people love going to Jamba Juice, myself being one of them, you know, and I've got my Jamba cards. This is given to me as a gift, as a little $25 gift certificate to Jamba. I've got one of my Jamba cards here, I've got another one here, you know, so I do buy a lot of the product. I like wheatgrass, a lot of people think it's gross, but I like it. It's really good for you too. But um, when it comes to you know buying Jamba Juice, you know I don't necessarily trust it 100%. Even though it's fresh, you know, and I always do the fruit smoothies. I don't do anything with with with, with the yogurt or the ice cream or nothing like that. So I always do the fresh fruit smoothies, and I think they, there's three that they offer: the um, uh, strawberry sunrise, I think, uh, mango madness, uh, pomegranate paradise, and I think there's one other, which is just a fresh fruit smoothie. But it's been prepared and frozen and put in a container, and then they shovel it out of that container and into a blender and it's all frozen so you know i don't know exactly what freezing does you know but i do know what fresh does and part of what i learned about fresh is when i started working with a dj years ago um who had a juicer and said you know i live my life by this juicer so i went out and bought one i've had the same juicer now for gosh ever since i was married Ooh. <laughs> a long time the same juicer so i've had this juicer now since it's two or 2008 right now i've had this ju same juicer since 1999 so it's lasted me a long time um, and i also went out and bought this book at walden it's uh... juicing for life and the cool thing about this book is it gives you um, it takes you know home remedies and in the form of curing it with juice, um, all different types of stuff uh, for the for allergies, um, 
asthma. There's uh, juice remedies for uh, uh, cataracts. Uh, you know, there's a uh, you know a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, low blood sugar, uh, memory loss. <laughs> I gotta drink some of that. I don't know. Uh, migraine headache. Now, now they don't claim to cure anything in these books, but you know, if people are writing it, there's got to be some truth to it. But I can attest to some of the stuff that I've tried that that's not bad. One of the things that I do is um, uh, pineapple, uh, fresh pineapple. Pineapple has a, an enzyme in it called bromelain, and that's an anti-inflammatory. And when you've got, you know, your, 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 your voice is really tender and raw, and you've been talking for so long, and you just, you know, and you've lost your voice, drinking straight pineapple, fresh pineapple juice is really good uh, for that, um, to try to help cure any type of... Uh, um, uh, voice problems, you know, if, you, if, you, if you've got the redness and the swelling, your glands are swollen, and any type of, of voice loss, that's what you need to be taking. Um, in the event you do lose your voice, the best thing I can advise to you is do not talk. Save your voice. Don't even whisper, because even if you whisper, when you're whispering, you're actually putting strain on your vocal cords. So when you, when you whisper, you're actually doing more harm than good. So talk normal. The other thing is when you when you have to talk, if you have to talk, exhale or inhale, take a big breath of air and as you're talking you're pushing the air out. So you're not putting a strain on your vocal cords to try to push the the it out. If you've ever gone to uh, any type of uh, 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 if you've ever seen a, a speaker, any type of uh, uh, you know, uh, public speaker that maybe doesn't do it for a profession, you know, this is someone that, that doesn't understand that you have to do this stuff. If you keep, if you talk from your neck all day long, you'll be hoarse. So you have to talk from your diaphragm. You build up the air inside and you exhale out when you're talking. That's a lot better, uh, a lot better for your voice. So if you lose your voice, try not to talk. Keep it, I'm not saying a word. And if you do have to say anything, take a deep breath of air. Exhale out. And then also drink plenty of pineapple juice. Fresh pineapple juice, make it, you cut the top off, you cut it in slivers, rind and all into the juicer, you drink it, it's awesome. It's great tasting, and it's really even frothy too. It's like a smoothie. It's it's very creamy, it's really good stuff. So, uh, um, especially really tangy too, and I like that. So, uh, um, that's good for you. Um, also in this book, another thing, it also really cool kind of gives you some helpful tips of things you shouldn't be doing, especially um, during the, there we go, common cold. Like some of the things it's talking about, um, you know, avoid all sweets, um, even fructose, honey and orange juice. Um, they have too much sugar. Sugar depresses the immune system. So, uh, and, and, and it limits the ability uh for your immune system to kill the bacteria because of all the sweets in there. So um, I don't drink much soda pop, but you know I usually do occasionally on my show have a Sprite or two and throw some lemon in there or a lime wedge. So I nix the sweets, no, no, no sugar, no, no, none at all. So um, you know get rid of any sugar that that you're intaking. Okay, definitely number one. Um, the other thing too, if you know you're coming down with a cold. Um, Killing virus. One of the best ways to kill virus is right here. Uh, cranberries. They've got quininic acid in cranberries, quinine. Okay, and this mixed with that, an apple. So the ratio I do when I juice is I'll do four apples to a cup to two cups, depending on you know the severity of what I've got of cranberries. And this this kills virus. It'll knock it out. It'll take care of you. And I highly recommend it. So when it comes to the loss of the voice and the swollen glands and the, 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 the redness inside and the pain you're feeling from talking, definitely the bromelain in the pineapple. But when it comes to being sick and trying to cure this type of stuff, cranberries. Only, only problem, but it, it, it is good because you know the, the time we get sick the most is when these are in season, and that's in November and December. So pick up some cranberries and some apples and juice them. They're really good for you.